what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers I'm Barbas in this video I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this using the VHT wrinkle plus rattle can these are the items that I'm gonna be using I got some purple power to clean up the valve cover I got some sandpaper in different grits. I got the rattle can, VHT Wrinkle Plus, and a heat gun right here. It's about 40 degrees outside and it's raining, so this is all I can really do. I can't touch the Civic right now. The fact that I'm not even near the Civic, so. I did snag this valve cover last time I was messing with the Civic and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up right now. So now that I got it nice and clean and I dried it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit all these letters that are up here with the 80 grit and then I'm gonna hit the rest of it or actually all of it afterwards with the 180 I went ahead and I hit everything that was gonna stay bare metal with the 80 grit. So this right here, this, this right here, where the oil cap goes. Um, each one of these, I went ahead and I cleaned out on the sides also, pretty good. And then I did the ground over here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit everything up with 180. I'm gonna hit everything. So I just hit the whole thing with the 180 and I was gonna step it up to 400 but because of the fact that this is going to be a wrinkle finish i'm not going to go ahead and step it up i'm just going to let it be right there and what i am going to do is i'm going to hit the letters only with the 400 and then i'm going to step it up one more to 1500 only on the letters So that's with the 1500 it's starting to turn into a mirror um, I don't have any higher grit than that I do but it's not here with me so I think we're gonna go ahead get this thing washed and we're gonna tape it up and get it painted and later on we can probably hit this with 2000 and keep stepping it up and maybe turn it into a mirror finish but for now this is pretty good Soapy water. Clean water. Now we're going to dry it and get it taped up.
So you guys already know that this channel is about making stuff happen with what I have. And all I had was a pen, so I used it to outline all these letters. And it worked out perfect because it did cut into it. So it got pretty dark on me. I got a light right here that I set up. And I got a light on the camera. I'm going to turn it on right now. This is just something that I rigged up on here to try to have more light. So this thing's ready to get painted. And I'm going to go ahead and lay my first coat down. With this coat, I'm going to go ahead and try to hit all the little um, hidden areas that there are. This does spray very thick. This is my father-in-law's house, so you guys might see him pop out through this door any minute. All right, everything's coated pretty evenly. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy on so I can get the wrinkle effect. I'm going to wait five minutes and then I'm going to hit it with this. It looks very glossy. We're going to hit it with a little heating tool to make the wrinkles appear. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the second coat. All right, so I hit it with the heat gun and it's on there pretty thick. So I'm just going to go ahead and I am actually going to place it inside the grill so no particles get on it. And I'm going to let it dry for about two hours and we'll come check on it. So this is what it looks like after a few hours of drying. Um, you guys can see that there's a little bit of red around the letters I'm gonna take a pin with a little bit of paint in a cup and I'm gonna go ahead and outline it to get rid of all that little red imperfections um, besides that I'm very happy on how it turned out and like I said this is gonna be the end of the video so I'll catch you on my next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later